with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Intel Nuke error um, on Windows, uh, which is called the WHEA uncorrectable error. And yes, this only applies to Intel Nukes if you have one. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS and update the drivers so to make sure that um, everything's are working properly and correctly so let's go ahead and get started here we go okay so the first thing to do is uh, you should always check uh, the version of your BIOS so how you're gonna access the BIOS on your computer is so you're gonna you're gonna go to your settings. Uh, let's see. Let's start from here. So you're gonna go to update and security. Go to recovery. Then press advanced startup. Um, I'm gonna record from my phone because um, I don't think it will, it will record on my screen recorder. So here we go. Okay. So as I said. You're going to choose Advanced Startup. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera so much. So you're going to choose Advanced Startup. Make sure you close everything and save everything before you do that. So after that, what you're going to do, press Restart Now. Then um, it should load you a list of options. Uh, so what you, what you do is you press uh, uh, Troubleshoot. Press advanced options. Do not press reset your PC or else it's going to ruin your uh, windows. Um, I think you go to... Okay, yeah, you go to UEFI firmware settings. That goes to your BIOS. Click on it. Press restart. So currently the the computer's restarting so yeah it'll access the BIOS and here you go Intel Visual BIOS so up here it will tell you it will tell you the um, basically the basic information including your the name of or the model of the computer then you have the BIOS version right up there so yeah but then what really identifies the BIOS is these four numbers 0056 so these four numbers will identify the version of, uh, of the BIOS so I found online that um, like on the Intel forums you need to have the BIOS updated um, at least like a zero point uh, a zero zero four two, because zero zero four one and below, they have incorrect. They they basically have like incorrect BIOS settings, that puts this, uh, puts stress on the CPU, and that causes it to heat up and eventually cause the blue screen of death. So, yeah. So here is the BIOS number zero zero five six right up there so now I'm gonna show you how to update the BIOS this is, this is optional but um, if you're doing this on another computer you might need a USB drive a flash drive um, if uh, the we uncorrectable error is really a problem for you you might need a USB flash drive um, so yeah, you might have to, yeah, you might have to go on a working computer to, like, download the updates and all that. So, yeah, this is optional unless you can do it on this machine itself. So, yeah. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna show you how to download the the update. So, yes, you need to go online. So you can go to like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or whatever is your favorite browser, but anyways, so you're going to go to, go to the website called Intel, 
and sorry I'm using a search in, uh, extension so search up Intel um, yeah okay so then what you do is that you're gonna go to uh, just search up like Intel nuke BIOS update yeah there we go um let's see yeah something something like like this um, but yeah this is not my model so make sure you you know the model of your 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 um, Intel nuke so mine is like a nuke i5 8 B H or something like that I don't know but yeah make sure you check the model before you install the update or does you know something wrong can happen so yeah um, yeah if you if you were to do this um, yeah let's say that you have the you have that model as shown as shown right here so I think what you do is that you click on here then it'll take you to the download page then um, yeah so when you uh, download the um, the update make sure it is uh, a .bio file something like this so let's say that I install this uh, yeah just accept the terms and license agreement then yeah I should start uploading and all that stuff seven seconds okay so now it's ready um, go to your folder file uh, so you're gonna go to uh, downloads and um, this is the download right here so um, in some cases you might need to your okay so actually here's the thing you're gonna need a USB flash drive because I think it will only the the BIOS will only identify the um, the you know you know the flash drive so what you're gonna do make sure you plug it to like like one of the USB ports so I'm gonna go to plug it in uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so now what you what you're gonna do is, um, so yeah, my my um my thing is called Kingston Drive. So you're gonna drag the file, drag the file over here, and make sure it shows up here. Okay, so now it shows up. Now what you need to do is you need to go back to the BIOS. So now, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and close everything. And so, yeah. I'm going to access the, the BIOS is, um, to update the BIOS is, um, you're going to have to restart the computer. So you just go ahead and press restart. Okay, so down there, there's going to be a menu saying, like, press the following keys to do something, update the BIOS. Okay, so what you do, uh, right when it starts up, press F7 rep repeatedly so it can get to the update page. Alright. Alright, so here we go. So, here we are in the update page. So, what you're... Okay, so... um my my USB flash drive is also called data traveler uh, traveler 2.0 so I'm gonna go and press here 
Let's see. I mean, yeah, technically it is supposed to show up. Yeah. And then, yeah. Alright, so here's a bio file. And so what you do is going to press enter. I'm not going to update mine or else the BIOS might become corrupt and all that. So uh, when you press enter, um, it will automatically start updating. Then it will uh, become the new version of the BIOS. So yeah, I don't need to update mine because mine's is already fully updated. So um, yeah, so basically this is how you update the BIOS. Then um, it should take you back to the visual, the the um, the visual BIOS and all that stuff. So uh, yeah. So now once you're done with that, um, I'm gonna show you how to install the. Uh, the driver, the driver updaters and all that, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to update the drivers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and just uh, let you take a look at the device managers, I think. So, yeah, device managers. Yeah, I'm just a standard user, but that's that's totally fine. So yeah, basically this is the, you know, all the statuses of the devices and all that. Yeah, I think I think all of them are fully updated. If there's like an exclamation mark or, I don't know, some sort of error, then that might also be causing the problem of the blue screen of death. So yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to Chrome or whatever browser, uh, browser you like. Google, then what you do is type in Intel Driver Assistant. So yeah, press this and let's see. So I need to download the latest version, but what I know is that it'll say um, download the driver and then it'll show you a list of things that that you'll have to upgrade and and then when you want to upgrade this like specific driver um uh one thing is that it's gonna pr it, it might prompt you for an ad administrator control so uh, make sure you have an administrator here to do it unless you are one so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and download my um the latest version um but yeah I'll, I'll i'll go through that later after i end the video so yeah so basically it's going to ask you it's going to it's going to display a list of stuff here that that they they uh, should have you update like you know the real tech sound driver or whatever then it will like open up like the wizards but um this is a pretty easy process i don't really have to go through this so yeah um yeah this is basically it for the um how to fix this error called wha uncorrectable error um i'm sorry that you guys uh because of this error you had to return the intel nuke but yeah i've say i've saved you guys you totally do not have to turn, uh, return it because it did solve the problem for mine because I thought we would have to, but updating the BIOS totally solved it for me, so yeah. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please like, um, please comment, subscribe, and yeah. So, uh, I thank you for watching uh, this video. I really hope this tutorial helps. So, with that being said, thanks for watching guys, and that will be it. Please subscribe.